the value chain in the cinema business, oftentimes people think when you come in here, you see the movie and that's it. There's a back end to it. Mm. It actually starts from a concept. I think about a movie, I think about a movie, the scriptwriter pens it down, gives you a storyline. So it all begins in the head of the scriptwriter. I tell you, that's where it starts from. It starts from up here. They pen it down, they take it up to the studios. I've got a good, you know, I've got a good work. Check it out. Oh, they like it. They've got contact agents, call the actors. You do some, you know, screenings. Crew and cast. Yeah, exactly. You know, they check it out. Okay, you fit in, you fit in, you fit in. You shoot a movie. That's been done. You start to publicize those movies. Then you publicize them. There's a momentum towards every release. Yeah, say for Fast and Furious, there was a huge momentum towards it. Yeah, give the poor worker factor. Yeah, and you know, that came into it, pushed the business a little, pushed the, you know, the movie some more. And then you get it down to your distributors worldwide. We're looking at Nigeria now, you get it to Nigeria, they get it to us. When you give us these movies, yeah, the movies just don't come to us unannounced. We have mm. a schedule for them. Set, set movie release July 3rd, May 1st, you know, days like that. So you already start to build a momentum on your own as a business driver for the movie at your cinema. Yeah, then you take this movie a step further. You do radio jingles, you know, you go on, like, right now I have a show on radio that I go on every Friday and uh, talk about movies. And, you know, that's an avenue for me. I do that, you know, drive the movie on that level. Then when you come into the cinema, for those who have visited, yeah, before your movie, we've got trailers running. Yeah. We show you the trailers of those movies. I saw a few of them out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, you show you the trailers in the cinema and say, for instance, you were just having a walk past. You've got LCDs located around the cinema where you can actually see trailers of coming soon movies, movies that are already shown in the cinema. So that way, people see them and, you know, they want to come and see this movie when so, they're out. So, so uh, is the cinema the final entity on the value chain? Well, I think the appreciation of our guests is the final entity on the value chain. Because it's not just, the cinema can be there, the cinema is all around the place, yeah? But how do your guests, we call them guests, that's fair house. Yeah? We call them customers. Yeah, somewhere. Well, we, we, tend, <laughs> we, we take them more personally here. Yeah, but well, yeah. I guess it's a, no, it's a matter of nomenclature. <laughs> so. <laughs> no, but we do, we do, we do take our guests. Guest service is our, is our core value of film house. And I think uh, it's something that has driven our business thus far. And that's why we still get return customers return guests every other now you know every other week yeah but, but is there a difference between distributors and cinema houses yes there's a huge difference some distributors don't own cinemas yeah some do own like for film house we have film one distribution it's a sister company yeah yeah so their distributors right now we do local movies we're looking at doing international you know we've done some local movies like uh, half of yellow sun it was done by Film One. Mm -hmm. We've done uh, October One by Kunle for Lion. When Love Happens, you know, and we're looking at you know going further into into the Nollywood market and the Hollywood market as well to get. So distributors can be likened to wholesalers, Pretty while much. the cinema houses are like retailers. And the retailers, yes, yes, oh, great, yeah. great. Yeah, so we have independent distributors, UIP, Silver Bed. Blue pictures, you know, those are you know some of the distributors in Nigeria, in Nigeria, yeah, moment. who represent you know the studios abroad. Oh, and, so yeah. we actually have distributors in Nigeria at the moment. Yes, yes, yes. There's, there's, there's quite a few of them, you know, around there. They represent like you know some distributors represent three, four studios, some others represent one, two. You know, it depends on how much you know uh, how much leverage you have you know to get these movies from them. Yeah. So on this chain, um, if you want to be a player. You could come in at the conception stage as a scriptwriter yeah. or a visionist or a member of the crew, cast, distribution. Yeah. And to be a distributor of, for a major studio, what does it entail? Well, it's quite a lot. You know, details of that I might not be able to share with you. Those are trade secrets. Yeah, those are trade secrets. For the initiates. <laughs>